Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about changing gear techniques in a manual car or how to change gear smoothly in a manual car. Many learners in the beginning, that's a challenge for them. Many find difficult how to change gear smoothly in a manual car. So in this video, like I said, I'm going to share with you the techniques, the process of changing gear so that when you're learning, you could change gear smoothly. Let's start the lesson. So like I said in this video, I like to talk to you about changing gear techniques or how to change gear smoothly in a manual car. The techniques or the process I'm going to share with you in this video, if you could memorize it, the process that way when you go and learn or on your learning to make it smooth if you could copy if you could do exactly the same hopefully it's going to help you to master or do chain gear or chain gear smoothly in a manual car so first of all the difference between a manual car and an automatic in an automatic you don't need to chain gear because it changes automatically that is why it is known as automatic you don't need to change gear it does it for you automatically manual car you have to change gear by yourself according to your speed now, i'm not going to go into the speed as much like i said i'm only giving you the techniques in this one if you want to learn about when to change gear how to change gear according to your speed watch the other videos on the channel i will leave links of those videos on the description okay so here just memorize the the techniques, the process, the way, the steps of changing gear. That way, when you go and do it yourself, hopefully it's going to help you. So let's talk about changing gear, okay? So we're sitting here, we're driving along. This is our feet on the gas. We're driving, okay? We want to change gear. Whether we've gone up, we've gone down, we need to change gear. So according to the speed, we need to change gear. When you are about to change gear, few things in your mind. Number one, you have to off gas, put the clutch down. It has to happen same time. So off gas and clutch needs to go down. So you shouldn't be off gas and there's a big pause and then clutch down. No, it has to happen same time. So one goes up, one goes down. Can you see it? One goes up, one goes down. Not up and then you wait until this one goes down. Or you can't put the clutch down while you are giving gas and then gas up. It has to be off gas, clutch down. No gas when the clutch is down or gas up and there's a big pause and then clutch down. It has to happen same time. Off gas, clutch down. Okay, so that's the feet. Remember, so feet is off gas, clutch down. That's your feet work. Now your hand. What does the hand needs to do? Your hands is on the wheel. Remember, you need right hand to control the steering and left hand to change gear. And many learners, the problem they face when they're doing that is the car is going all over the place. Why? Because they lose the control because they are thinking too much about the gear. Their mind is gone to the gear too much. And because of that, what's happening? The car is going all over the place. So when you're changing gear, your mind needs to stay on your right hand where the car is going and take your left hand. When you're doing that, only take some percentage of your mind, not all of it. Because if you think the whole hundred percent of your mind goes to changing gear, what's happen? What's going to happen to your concentration? Your car's going to go all over the place. So many learners, the problem they face is the right hand is they're not thinking about the right hand. They're fully thinking how to change gear. They're, so the left hand goes to the gear, and that's what they're thinking. They're not thinking about the right hand. Remember, you need to control the car where the car is going. So off gas, clutch down. Think of your right hand, take your left hand on the gear, chain gear, bring the clutch up halfway to the biting, give a little gas, rest to the clutch up. Done. Remember the process. Okay, so let's do that again. I'm driving, both hands on the wheel, my feet is on the gas and I'm driving. Now I need to chain gear. So what am I thinking? I'm thinking of my off gas clutch down, right hand, left hand to chain gear and i know where the gears are make sure you know where the gears are because you're not going to change gear unless you know where the gears are okay i'll go through that in a minute but you should know where that is and like i said there are other videos on the channel about the gear watch those videos on the description the links are there okay so both hands on the wheel i'm giving gas i'm driving along i need to change gear what do i do i'm thinking of my 
right hand, left hand, and I know where the gears are. Off cast, clutch down. Hands on the gear, chain gear. Hands back on. Bring the clutch up halfway. No gas at the time. Bring the clutch up halfway. Now give a little gas and the rest of the clutch up. Did you notice that? So now when the clutch was down, as I was bringing the clutch up, when they came to the biting halfway, I gave a little pause, give a little gas, rest of the clutch up to, to make it smooth, to make it smooth. Don't bring the clutch up quickly because if you do that, you will either stall or you will shake. And this is why it's no smooth. For you to make it smooth, you want to, so off gas, clutch down. You've changed gear, hands back. Don't give gas at the time. Bring the clutch up slowly to the biting or halfway. Give a little pause. That's the pause is the trick for you not to stall or for you to do smoothly. Then give a little gas and the rest up. Let me repeat. For you to make it smooth, off gas, clutch down, chain gear, hands back on. Bring the clutch up halfway. When it's halfway where the biting is, give a pause, give a little gas, the rest up. That little pause, really tiny, not like, not like, like you're holding it there. That little pause, give a little gas. Especially from first to second gear. That pause is so important to make it smooth, okay? Then from second to third, third to fourth, the pause doesn't have to be as much. Even if you don't give pause, it will be okay. But the from first gear to second gear, it is very important to give that pause to make a smoothness, to make a smooth chain gear from first to second. Okay? So do you understand that? Okay, so let me give you the tips again or the tricks of to make it smooth, okay? Off gas, clutch down. Not off gas, there's a big pause and then give gas. Or while the clutch, gas is there, you put in the clutch down. No. So off gas, clutch down. Number one. Number two, right hand firm. Number three, when I take my hands to the gear, don't look where the gears are. Don't look down. You're looking ahead and you know where the gears are. I'm concentrating ahead. I chain gear. Once I've chained gear, take your hands back. Bend the clutch up really slowly. Halfway, start giving gas and the rest up. From first to second, give a little pause where the biting is. And then from second to third and onwards, the, the pause doesn't have to be as much. But make sure you know where the biting is. Soon as you come there, basically, just before clutch fully up, give a little gas. You don't want to bring clutch all the way up. There's a big pause and then give gas. You don't want to do that. You want to? You've changed gear, clutch up, and just before fully up, you need to give a little gas and the rest up. Did you get that? I'm going to repeat one more time. And I know you might complain now. Many, you might think, well, I'm keep repeating. Please, the reason I repeat, like I said, is, is, is because I want you to get it. If you don't get it, it's no point me making the videos. The reason I make the videos so that you understand it and you get it. And that's how I teach my learners. I keep repeating. And that's what I'm doing in the video, okay? So I want to change gear, both hands on the wheel. I'm giving gas. I'm driving. I want to change gear. I'm thinking of my gas and the clutch my right hand and my left hand, and I know where the gears are. Okay, so I'm driving. Off cast, clutch down, chain gear, hands back on, clutch up, just nearly finish, give a little gas, rest of the clutch up, and drive along. Done. Did you get that? So number one is make sure the clutch is fully down to chain gear. Sometimes one of the problems many learners make is that they don't put the clutch fully down. Make sure off gas and put the clutch fully down to the floor. Fully, not halfway. Sometimes many learners, they make the mistake. They only put half to chain gear and you're making that noise. You, you, could, you could hear the cracking noise. It's because you didn't put the clutch fully, fully down. Okay? So off gas fully, clutch down fully. Remember that? So not clutch a little bit up. Oh, sorry, gas a little bit up. Clutch up fully, clutch down fully. Done. Then right hand, little firm. Not too hard, little firm to keep your control. Okay? And then... You hold it. Now for first and second, hold it, pushing it away from you. Away. So one and two is away, one and two. Okay. So away, keep pushing away. One, keep pushing away, two. And for three and four and the rest, make sure your hands is that way, towards you. Okay. So one and two away from you, that way. And three, four and the rest facing you. Your hand is facing you. So there, three, four, 
five, six, and the rest. Okay, so one and two that way, keep pushing one, keep pushing two, and three, four, five, and the rest is that way, there, 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 there. Remember that? Okay, so that's gear. Next part is as you bring the clutch up, don't give gas as you bring the clutch up, bring it up, and just before finish, just before finish, give a little gas and the rest up. And from first to second, give that pause at the biting point to make it smooth. Can you remember that? Practice that. Maybe if you if you got a car or family member's car, just watch the video and just go through that in a stationary car. Just get that process, memorize that process in your mind. Just process that in your mind a few times and just practice in a, in a car which is just stationary. You're not driving it. Okay, so just like I am now, I'm not driving now, am I? So what I'm doing is I'm practicing off cast, clutch down, chain gear, hands back on, clutch up slowly, just before finish, give a little gas. And do that a few times, get that process, get that steps in your mind. That way it's going to help you to do it smoothly without giving pause. Because the other problem is because you're in the beginning, you, you, you forget the steps. And what happens, you do one and then you forget what do I do next. And while you're doing that, you're giving that pause and then you forget which one is next and the rest. Okay. And like I said, when you're changing gear, make sure you know where the car is going. Make sure you have your right hand firm so you don't lose the control of your car when you're changing gear. Okay. So that's it for this video. If you need extra help on learning to drive and to pass the driving test, don't forget to take the advantage of our online course, which gives everything a learner needs. The course has everything a learner needs for you to learn and for you to pass your driving test. It has more than 30 videos on the course. I will leave a link on the description for you to have a look. Have a look and see and read. If you like it, you could always join the course. If you are learning and you need help on learning and passing the driving test, don't forget to take the advantage of our online course. The course gives everything a learner needs to learn to drive and to pass the driving test. It has everything a learner needs. I will leave a link on the description for you to have a look. Have a look and see and read. And if you like it, you could always join the course. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like the video, please do give a thumbs up. And please do make a comment what you think of the video. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And hope to see you again on the next video. Bye for now.